Hello friendly faces, welcome to another video. So this week I thought we'd try something different and have a look at air plants. Air plants are growing rapidly in popularity as a low maintenance house plant. They don't need soil, pots and generally do not require frequent watering. They are native to the forests, mountains and deserts of northern Mexico, the southeastern United States, the Caribbean, Central and South America. Many are what's called epiphytes, meaning that in nature they grow on other plants, usually on tree branches, and they don't need soil to grow. Another type are called lithophytes, which means they can grow on rocks. And yet still more are called aerophytes, meaning they can grow in sifting desert sands. They can even grow on telegraph wires. There are hundreds of species and varieties of air plants. They usually have strap shaped or slender triangular shaped leaves that grow in a rosette pattern with new growth appearing from the centre. And they come in a wide range of stunning colours. Because they don't need soil to grow in, the ways to display them are only limited by your imagination. You can even make fridge magnets out of them. If you want to have a go at growing them, it's not hard. You'll need air plants, obviously. Something to display them on. Here's a bit of old branch. Some blue tech will come in handy to stick them to. And some garden twine and scissors. And they'll need to have been soaked in some water for a few hours. First thing to do is put some blue tech on the branch, or you could use glue. And then stick the air plant onto that. Next, get your twine and tie the air plant into place. Then, when you've got it in place, just give it a few taps, just to make sure it's not going to fall off. Then, when you've got the air plants where you want them, just trim the twine to size. And that's it. All done. They'll need water in about once a week, and when they do, put them in the sink and just mist them with a sprayer. And now a quick update on the windowsill lettuce that was planted up in April. This is what it looked like then, and this is how it looks now. You may remember that I planted up some hanging pots with summer annuals, and I've grown them on in the polytunnel for a while. I've now got them put out in their planting places, and hopefully, should get a nice display in a few weeks time. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye.